Hey guys, welcome back to Music Talk with John. Um, I'm sure as you know by now, being in the um, VC community, VC community? In the VC, that the uh, the Beatles revolver came out and, um, and there's about a thousand videos out there with people talking about it, unboxing it, uh, looking at it, drooling over it. Um, so I've decided to not do that, to not unbox it, not listen to it, not compare it to another copy that I have, this 2012 version of it, which is nothing to write home about, I don't think. It's just a regular reissue. Uh, that's 2009, 2012 on it. Perfectly good copy. So there, there'd be no reason for me to get a hold of a another copy of it that has a uh, one of a kind, never find it anywhere else tote bag right there. So I'm not gonna do that. Uh, everybody else, you know, has compared it and talked about it, how great this album is. Of course, it's a great album. You know, this is like the gateway, you know, right into um, what was after Sergeant Pepper. I mean, so this was like getting that feel of Sgt. Pepper and then going into Sgt. Pepper. So this is the Beatles once again, re um, not revolving, but evolving into something better, bigger. So this is the, uh, this isn't the new stereo mix by Giles Martin and Sam Kill. It's not. Um, and it does not contain Taxman, Eleanor Rigby, I'm Only Sleeping, Love You Too, Here, There, and Everywhere, Yellow Submarine, She Said, She Said, Good Day Sunshine, and Your Bird Can Sing, 401, Dr. Robert, I Want to Tell You, Got to Get You Into My Life, Tomorrow Never Knows, this does not contain that. This is an anti-video, just so you know. I'm not going to be like everybody else in the VC and do this. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to. Take a little knifey here and run it along the plastic. And I'm not gonna make sure I don't scratch the box or anything like that. Nope, I'm gonna be different. See, that's the whole thing in these videos. I'm gonna be different than everybody. I'm not gonna do these things. You know, everybody's copying off each other out there. There's no original material out there and I'm tired of it. And, you know, so I'm not doing these things. No, that came out pretty easily, so. This is not plastic in my hand. It's not. Um, this is not me looking at it and going, where, how do you open it? Oh, so I will not open this box. Well, maybe I will. No, I won't. Okay. So I'm not gonna bother looking in here and seeing what's up. Let's see. There's an album, look at that. What, I mean, how surprising. It's an album. And it looks like this album. I don't think there's any differences between the two. No. What does it say? It has a little hype sticker. Everybody likes a hype sticker, not me, because I'm not into that. The Beatles Revolver. New Stereo Mix by Giles Martin and Sam O'Kell. O'Kell? Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. From what I understand, Peter Jackson, the guy that did the Get Back documentary on, and it premiered on Disney, he has this technology that um, he allowed Giles Martin to, hopefully it's Giles, not Giles, I think it's Giles, Giles Martin to get in and um, it, it allows you to, allow him to get in and, and, and isolate instruments because when Revolver was made, um, they would record on, on four tracks and there would be, um, it was a four track recorder, I believe, and there'd be multiple um, instruments, vocals, whatever, on one track. So you'd have one track and it would be um, a vocal, a guitar, a bass, whatever. And each track had all these instruments playing at one time. So you couldn't isolate them. Nowadays with Pro Tools and all that, you can isolate every instrument, and everything's individual. Back then they would put it all on one track. So it's very difficult to go and get each instrument and clean it up. But with this technology that Peter, um, what did I say his name? Peter Jackson. P 
Peter Jackson has, he can actually, you can take them and isolate the instruments out of one track, pull them apart, clean them up, and then put it all back together. So that's what they did. So I'm not going to compare these two albums and, and put them on and listen to them. I'm not gonna do that. I know one thing you're interested in seeing. We got we have to see the vinyl, right? So let's let's take a look at what's happening here. It's on Parlophone. This one's on Parlophone. And of course, what you've been waiting for, right? You gotta know what the tote bag looks like. There you go. It's all wrapped nicely. Here we go. Everybody has to have one of these. Beatles Revolver tote bag. Let's see the tie quality. Let's see if I can go over to Aldi and, and get some shopping done. I'll go to Walmart and, and not waste any plastic bags and save the environment. That's not it. There it is. The Beatles tote bag. There you go. Does it fit an album? Now, it would make sense if this fit an album, wouldn't it? Is it going to fit an album? Let's see. If I go to my local record store with my little Beatles tote bag, which I'm going to do now. Will it fit? Oh, look at that. Perfect for the upcoming RSD Black Friday coming up in November. Plenty of room in there, too. Look at that. Get these straps out of the way. Look at that. Plenty of room for your album and all the goodies that come with Record Store Day. So there you go. So right now I'm not going to... There you go. I'm not going to go over there and put my 2012, 20, what did I say, 2016 album on and listen to it. And then put on the new one. I'm not going to do that because everybody else is doing that. So I'm not doing that. So this was 2012, not 2016. Okay, so I'm not gonna play the new one and compare it to the old one. Not gonna do it because that's what everybody's doing. Nope. Not gonna do it. Side one. Comes on there nicely. I do. Okay, so I'm glad I uh, didn't do a comparison like everybody else on YouTube, comparing their Revolver albums and, you know, because everybody knows it's, it's in the ear of the beholder as far as how the sound goes, their own system, everything um personal taste in music the way their ears work so i wouldn't do that i'm gonna tell you i i mean i'm not gonna tell you what i thought about it um in my own personal experience with my own little system over there at my audio technica and my little sony receiver that you guys are probably laughing at but you know what i like it it sounds good and it gets loud um so i'm not gonna tell you after comparing the two right do thing different, right? Yeah. After comparing the two, I'm not going to tell you that after listening to it really closely, seeing a little bit of change that they did. So on this one, yeah, they brought, like on Elnor Rigby, um, Paul was off to the right and mainly on this one. And then he's still off to the right on this one mainly, but you can hear where they brought him over to the left a little bit, but it's still prominent on the right 
from what I heard. And I thought it sounded great. It sounded like they really got in there and cleaned up those instruments and isolated them and everything had its own little, I could hear everything. I mean, after doing a side by side, I really could hear more clear on this. But I'm not gonna tell you that. I'm not gonna tell you that. Um, so listening to um, Tomorrow Never Knows, that's a big one where they put John's vocals on the Wurlitzer speaker and he spun around and got that funky sound. I'm not gonna tell you, this sounded much better um, to me. So listening to these two, um, the new one, I'm glad I got it. I'm glad I have a copy of it because I'm not gonna tell you this, but sounds really good, clear, every little instrument. I love how Paul's bass is in there. I've always liked how they recorded his bass, but um, it really stood out on this for some reason. Um, so every song sounded good. Sounded almost like hearing it for the, the first time. It was like something familiar, but uh, freshened up. I don't know how I could explain it any more than that. It's like, I know all these songs, I know this album, but it sounds like it, it got dusted off and cleaned and now it's new again. So very exciting, very cool, but I'm not gonna tell you this is really, really good. I'm not gonna tell you like everybody else, just not gonna do it. So this is my non-review of Beatles Revolver. That's all I have for you guys today. Like I said, I don't wanna be like everybody else out there. I'm trying to do my own thing over here, so I'm not gonna do these things. So anyway, I'm glad you guys watched. Hit that like button, subscribe to me for more entertaining videos like this. Give me some comments in the bottom, but I don't wanna hear anything about Revolver. Just like I'm not sharing, I'm wasting your time when you could watch a thousand other videos out there. Don't waste my time with it, unless you want to. But anyway, thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys uh, hanging in there with me today. And until next time, you guys enjoy your music and you take care out there. Bye.